Manchester United have got through to the Europa League final after a shocking performance tonight from the team. The same starting lineup that we put out against Celta Vigo last week. You saw the likes of Fellaini come back into the team. So many changes. Romero in goal. Valencia was back at right back. So many changes tonight, but really, really poor performance from Manchester United. Throughout the whole game, I thought we were absolutely diabolical in this game. A lot worse than we were away in Spain last week. And in the end, Manchester United were so lucky to get through in them dying minutes because they could have scored. And Jesus Christ, we've really been through it these last two, two games in the knockout stage where we could have quite easily gone out in the previous round against Anderlecht in the extra time. And then again tonight, we've really rode our luck again. This was disgusting performance from Manchester United. The amount of money we've spent, we've got attacking talent out on the pitch and we've pl played like absolute dog shit tonight. Yes, we've gone 1-0 up from a fantastic cross from Marcus Rashford and put in by Marouane Fellaini. I thought the goalkeeper could have done a lot better with that. Maybe could have saved it, but still was really pleased that Fellaini put it in the back of the net. I know I've given him a lot of criticism. Should have scored it though was a, a good chance for Fellaini, he's a very, he's over six foot, should be scoring that header it, anyway. And I thought from there on it didn't change a lot, we needed to get that second goal and as the longer the game went on, you just knew that something was going to happen in this game, something was going to change, just like that Anderlecht game and I wasn't surprised when they've equalised late on to get back in it and then I was shitting myself, worrying that, that we were going to throw it away. And that was so annoying that Eric Bay has been sent off there at the end. Luckily, they've had a player sent off as well. I don't know why he's been sent off as well. I'd have to watch it back again. But luckily he did, because if we hadn't both gone down to 10 men, they even nearly scored in the dying seconds of the game. They've had other chances in, the, in that second half where they could have scored. We have had a goal disallowed, which was fairly disallowed in the dying minutes as well. Pogba fouling and Herrera putting in the net. But... We were not good enough again tonight. And this is at Old Trafford. Really not good enough. We played far too defensive. Yes, we were 1-0 up and we didn't need to force the game. But still, we were far too defensive at Old Trafford. We should have gone and got that second goal in the game and put the game to bed because there was always that chance. And in the end, it did come for them. But the only good good bit side of this what is that we're through to the final. It, and it doesn't matter how we get to the final now. We're through. I'm just glad it's all done and dusted and we can relax for another week or so before the final and we've just got to hope and pray that we can somehow, I don't care how we do it, if we play as dog shit as we have tonight, I'll take that as long as we can win it. Them finals are not pretty, usually finals aren't. And we've seen tonight that Leon have actually beaten Ajax three goals to one. So, okay, okay, Leon have gone out on, on, on the one goal, but... Ajax are definitely a beatable side. They've got a young side, although they've ended the game with 10 men tonight themselves, so they're going to be missing a man as well. But Eric Bay is such a miss for Manchester United. Daley Blim was not good enough tonight. I thought down that left-hand side wasn't good enough for Manchester United. Darmian and Blind, I just don't think are good enough for Manchester United. Certainly not. What didn't play well enough tonight. And we are really going to miss Eric Bay in this final. It really does worry me. But. We're going to have to patch up and get through it. We really need... We, we're we missing our probably our best two centre-back pairing in Rojo and in Bay for the, the for the final, which is devastating news. We've just got to hope we can get through these next couple of weeks and get through that final and win the final. And then we can have a good summer. Hopefully we can do it. But um, I've never actually this season been that confident that we're going to go through and win this Europa League. It's a tough competition to win. But the main thing tonight was that we are through to the final of it. It's just that horrendous home form has been really, really bad for Manchester United this season. It's got to got to improve next season. We've got a lot of tacky talent in, in this Manchester United squad. And um, admittedly we were one nil up. If Jose Mourinho was playing like this and we were nil nil then I would have been absolutely disgusted. Admittedly we were winning the game. So we have played played a bit more defensive. I can see it a bit, but still Old Trafford, we should be going for it. We never used to play like this at Old Trafford. We have now, in the past, Sir Alex has set his team out to counter-attack and play defensive in European games. Certainly away from home, a lot of times you used to see it in the Champions League, but no way did we would we have done it like this at Old Trafford. And it's just not good enough, even even though we were 1-0 up. But anyway, we're through to, that, to the final. Absolutely delighted that we're through. Just that bad bit of news with Bay being 
banned for that final, which is very, very disappointing. It's dampened what, what I was hoping was going to be a great evening to celebrate us getting to the final because it is it's still a great achievement to get to the final because you've got to play so many games, even though Manchester United have spent a lot of money over, over the past few years and should be winning a, co a competition like this, which is the second tier of the Champions League European trophy. But still, it's not easy. We've played so many games in this. You've got to go travel so many so many distances, you've got to play so many league games and other cup games. It's not, not as easy as people make it out to be and there are tricky ties in this but we haven't won it yet well, as we say but we're into the final against Ajax. Let's enjoy the moment and hopefully get, get the win in that final and then qualify it for the Champions League. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on that final. Are you confident now with Eric Bay being out and with Rojo out? That's two of our best centre-back pairing out. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll talk to you all again soon.